if a plus b plus c is equal to pi prove that sine square a by 2 plus sine square b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 is equal to 1 minus 2 cos a by 2 cos b by 2 and sine c by 2 we have to prove one condition is given here so first of all we have to take condition a plus b plus c is equal to pi and a plus b is equal to pi minus c either we have to multiply or divide we, it depends on rhs you can see here in rhs a by 2 b by 2 c by 2 it means we have to divide by 2 here so dividing both side by 2 a by 2 b by 2 is equal to pi by 2 or you can write down directly 90 also 180 by 2 means 90 pi means the value of pi means 180 c by 2 taking sine both sine sine a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to sine pi by 2 minus c by 2 90 means change sine convert in the form of cos 90 minus c by 2 90 minus theta means first quadrant all positive so we can write here cos c by 2 the value of sine pi by 2 minus c by 2 is cos c by 2 similarly we have to take cos both side cos a by 2 plus b by 2 is equal to cos pi by 2 minus c by 2 90 means change cos convert in the form of sine 90 minus c by 2 means first quadrant we are all positive so we can write here c by 2 after this we have to take lhs in lhs you can see what is given here sine square a by 2 plus sine square b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 now we we know now sine square a by 2 sine square b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 we have to put the values and the cos a formula cos a formula in the form of sine is 1 minus 2 sine square a by 2 so from there we have to find out the value of sine square a by 2 you can see here when you take this one here so 2 sine square a by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos a then sine square a by 2 is equal to 1 minus cos a by 2 it means the value of sine square a by 2 is 1 minus cos a by 2 so we have to put here 1 minus cos a by 2 plus 1 minus cos b by 2 minus this one we have to write on same only first and second term we have to change third term we have to write it same after this we have to separate 1 by 2 minus cos a by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus cos b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 after this you can see here 1 by 2 1 by 2 half plus half it will be 1 minus you can see here again is in denominator here is 2 so we can take 1 by 2 common and the remaining is cos a when minus is common this minus will be plus we have to change the sign when minus you have to take common that you have to change the sign minus already common why because minus plus it will be minus only so cos b minus last one we have to write on c by 2 now you can see here this in the form of cos c plus cos d and the formula is 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 in the place of c here is a in the place of d here is b we have to write on same so here 1 minus 1 by 2 we have to use formula of cos c plus cos d and the formula is 2 cos c plus d means a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 now look at there cos c plus cos d formula is 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 2 2 cancel 1 minus cos a plus b by 2 cos a minus b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 1 minus cos a plus b by 2 what is the value of cos a plus b we already found here cos a plus b by 2 is sine c by 2 so we have to write here sine c by 2 the value of cos a plus b by 2 is sine c by 2 so in the place of a plus b by 2 we have to write sine c by 2 write on cos a minus b by 2 minus sine square c by 2 now look at here we can take common here also sine c by 2 and here also sine square c by 2 so we can take common sine once look at here when you take here sine c by 2 common remaining cos a minus b by 2 when minus is already common in the place of minus we have to write down plus we have to change the sign so we have to write down here plus and after that sine c by 2 what is the value of sine c by 2 you can see here i already found here sine c by 2 is cos a by 2 plus b by 2 so in the place of sine c by 2 we have to write cos a plus b by 
2 and after that this in the form of cos c plus cos d you can use formula of cos c plus cos d and the formula is 2 cos c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 if you don't know that formula we have another formula also which i provided you when i started part 4 short question cos a minus b plus cos a plus b and the formula is 2 cos a cos b you can see here i use same formula cos a plus b plus cos a minus b formula is 2 cos a cos b and when you open the bracket you will get 1 minus 2 cos a by 2 cos b by 2 sin c by 2 which we have to prove 1 minus 2 cos a by 2 cos b by 2 sin c by 2 hope you understand today's video which is very important for class 11 trigonometry if you like my videos please hit the like button if you are new on my channel please subscribe and share with your friends thank you